Ciao football lovers of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you are all doing well. It is Monday and we have so many football stories to share, beautiful ones, question mark certainties. If you want to know what is what, please put a maximum of like, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and continue to support the channel. You comment, you let me know, you share the channel, whatever you want to, but now we start with a beautiful story. Because in football, yes, there are still beautiful stories, emotional stories, fairy tales. How crazy, how beautiful was it to see on the pitch, in Anfield, in a friendly, that many legends playing against each other. Steven Gerrard. Edgar Davids, Jari Littmanen, the goal again in his ex stadium of Fernando Torres, but the most beautiful one, the most emotional one, was Sven Goran Eriksson, Swedish coach, coach big teams like, for example, England or Lazio in the year 2000, where they were doing exceptionally well. Well, Sven Goran Eriksson, that is fighting against health. It is difficult for him. Well, he had a childhood dream, was to one day being able to sit on the bench of Liverpool and he was able to fulfill it. Extremely emotional moments and I'm sure that will he have it in his mind forever. Not only him, but all of us football fans because these are the stories that we want to see more and more and more. From beautiful fairy tales, we go towards the unknown, the question marks, the dark side of footballs, the rules that are clear, not clear, we don't know that much. Why? Because there are a few clubs that are risking maybe next season to not play European competition or at least not the same European competition as the other clubs that they are owning and today Code of Sight is reporting in why Manchester United could be barred from playing in Europe next season. Because we know it, United and Nice in France, they have the same ownership. And at the moment, the rules are, if you have the same owner, you can't play in the same competition. It's not the only one. Huh? We have a few clubs like that. Look at Girona, that for so long were first in La Liga. They lost that first spot. They lost that second spot. They lost now. They are at third and Atletico Madrid and Bilbao. They want to overtake them. Will they be able to overtake them? Because if Girona is qualifying to Champions League, what about them? What about Manchester City? There are other clubs with multiple ownership like Lyon with Crystal Palace, Botafogo and RWDM in Belgium. Four clubs from the same owners. We already spoke about it a few months ago here on this channel. We had that question. I'm extremely happy to see that question now on big expert sites because I need answers. I really need answers. Otherwise, we go towards problems about uncertainties. If you play, if you have merits on the field, but you can't play, why do you play? Why do you win? What can be there in the mind of players that know that they are actually participating for nothing? Big questions, big problems that need to be solved as soon as possible. And from the unknown, we go, of course, towards the certainties. Never rule out Germany. Never rule them out, especially not if they are organizing and they participate in a tournament at home, Euro 2024. A few days ago, before the international games, I told you, I have four favorites, France, England, Portugal, and Germany. A lot of people were questioning me, German. Germany. Why Germany? They are not doing that well. Looks like a finished team. The results are not coming. The performances are not coming. Boom. International friendly against the big favorite France. 2-0. And they needed only 7 seconds to open the score. 2-0. Not only the result, but also a beautiful performance. A fantastic goal of Wirtz. A fantastic goal. An assist, of course. 7 seconds. Boom. A banger from the distance. And they opened it. And then 49th minute. Four minutes in that second half and it is our boy, Kai Havertz, that is actually closing the game 2-0 with a really mediocre, if not really poor performance of L'Equipe de France. When you are watching these beautiful pictures, Wirtz next to Miziala, you are saying, this is illegal. This is crazy to see that new generation of German football players that will probably be there for so long. Beautiful German young team. Young team until a certain moment. The moment when you are going in details and are watching at the age of all the players from the German starting 11, but also the bench, the player that entered. And actually, it's not that much a young German team because 27, 28, 33, 34, 
probably a German team that is now at maturity, that is combining a lot of expertise with some young players, especially offensively, that can give that dynamism, that power. Well, good for them that an expert player like Toni Kroos came back. He was watching Germany. He was watching the result. The performance said... I can't accept it that we are playing Euro 2024 in our country and that we'll flop it. I want to give my support again to Germany. And he was back seven seconds, but also the performance of Toni Kroos. 143 touches, one assist, two key passes, 122 successful passes on 129. He missed seven passes, six duels won on eight, three tackles. Nobody was never able to dribble him past. What a performance of Toni Kroos. Is he there to open a new cycle? No, probably not. He wants to think short term. And that's the big question that all the German fans also have at that moment. Are we there to open a new cycle with Nagelsmann? Nagelsmann is not closing the door, he's not leaving it open, he's waiting a bit. And he says, you know, it depends on a lot of things. It depends on the offer. Generally speaking, I'm extremely happy, of course, when the protagonists are satisfied with the coaching staff. It's not impossible, but it's not a given either. At the moment, we focus on the Euro. So what will happen in Germ with Germany in the future? We don't know. But one thing is sure, they are back and they already showed it. The one that are starting to ask themselves questions is l'équipe de France, les Bleus, with a big title on équipe two days ago. Die grosse claque, die grosse claque, translated from German, French to English, means the big slap. And you see it, eh? Kylian Mbappé with his head down. What a poor performance from Mbappé, invisible, but from the 11 players that were on the field. They totally flopped, they totally missed their game. They didn't enter how they had to, probably being that much of that big favorite, well... They lose a bit of focus in Le Figaro Sport. Après le naufrage contre l'Allemagne, faut-il s'inquiéter pour les Bleus? After sinking against Germany, do we need to start worrying for l'équipe des Bleus? Yesterday, Didier Deschamps live spoke to television. He said, probably that grosse claque, that big clap was good for us to wake up, to come back on earth. So no worries for l'équipe de France. But of course, they will have to show themselves fast against Chile tomorrow to show that that German defeat, that German non-performance, well, it was just one game. And they are still the favorites. But they will need to show it there on the field. Certainties that Kuman is also looking for. Because yes, they won 4-0 against Scotland. Yes, they played extremely well. But as another the Netherlands player said in the past, good football without result is pointless. Result, results without good football is boring and they will have to show it against Germany. Not only the beautiful performance, a beautiful entertaining football, but also results on the field. Trying to do something against a Germany that is fully boosted with a lot of confidence. Dilemmas is the title of Sport World that is showing Zavid Simon because Kuman is looking for a spot how to integrate a fantastic jewel as Xavi Simons in that 11 to give maybe a bit of beautiful game and looking for an offensive stability, not only a casualty of winning only one time 4-0, but continuing to win and to entertain people. Certainties that England lost a bit, because when you have certainties, you also have the unknown, the unknown factor that the entire football world was looking for, Hendrik. Hendrik, when will he enter? Will he enter? And if he enters, how will he perform? Well, we didn't have to wait too long. He entered at the 80th minute he scored. That 1-0 from Brazil against England. Fantastic. Beautiful. These are the certainties that we are waiting for. Sometimes there are some stories like that that we are just waiting to see. We are there, we watch, and we know that something will happen. Like the young Ronaldo back then, that was extremely young when he scored his first goal with Brazil. Well, Hendrik was able to do it. After Ronaldo, he's becoming the youngest player to score with Brazil. 17 years and 246 days. He's a phenomenal. He's a talent. He's the chosen one, according to a lot of people. And it's not a coincidence that he's on all the British papers. Not only on the British papers, but also on the one from Spain. Hendrik Bria and Wembley. 
Hendrik is shining in Wembley, a stadium where he scored already his very first goal with Brazil when he was playing with PlayStation. Well, now he did it also in real life, but now he's dreaming to do it also in the Bernabeu for their next game. Spain will play against Brazil. Hendrik will be there in Bernabeu, maybe the very first goal in his next stadium. That would be the beautiful fairy tale. England that is now looking for certainties. And the coach, the manager, is asking to Tony to prove himself, to show a bit of swagger. It's a bit the test. Will he be called up for Euro 2024? A lot will depend on their game against Belgium of tomorrow. A game that Kyle Walker, Sam Johnstone and Harry Maguire will not participate at without even Harry Kane because all of them are injured. Minor injury, but at the moment they will have to try to find other certainties. Certainties that also Spain is looking for. I didn't see them as favorite and on the field in their first friendly against Colombia. Well, they were not able to show a lot of beautiful tiki taka, a lot of possession. But Colombia, they wanted a bit more. They wanted to go towards their first ever win against Spain. And they did with a fantastic goal at the 61st minute of Munoz. Certainties that Italy has with two victories in their friendly against Venezuela and against Ecuador. The game play, the performance, not that much for Italy. Not that much versus Venezuela. A bit better against Ecuador. A lot of rotation for the team of Spalletti that is trying to find stability in a 3-4-1-2 or still asking, should we not go back to a 4-3-3? He's testing, he's looking with goalkeepers, with midfielders, with strikers. One certainty is Retegui that scored beautiful Two goals against Venezuela. Yesterday, immediately beautiful goal of Pellegrini. Another to close the game of Barella after a beautiful performance of Nicolò. Beautiful, supported by a lot of Italo-Americans that were there in New York to watch their team playing, their national team, after 19 years that they were missing in USA. USA. Another game was played yesterday, Nations League, and we have a winner for the third consecutive time, back to back to back. USA that yesterday night, or this morning, I don't know how to say it, won 2-0 against Mexico. They win that cup, beautiful, fantastic. The Juventus players, McKenney and uh, Team Wea were performing extremely well. They were happy to lift a trophy this season. And we already know the groups for the Copa America that will be played in 2024 in USA. Argentina, Peru, Chile, Canada. Group B, Mexico, Ecuador, Venezuela, Jamaica. Group C, USA against Uruguay, Panama and Bolivia. Group D, Brazil, Colombia, Paraguay and Costa Rica. Well, USA, they won. Yes, fantastic nation league, but they have only 6.67% of chances to win that Copa America. Far from the two favorites that are Brazil with 30.8% and Argentina, World Cup winner with 33.3% to win that Copa America. If you're loving football, let me know what surprised you the most, what was the most beautiful story that you watched over the weekend, the uncertainties. The certainties, let me know everything in common. Thank you. My name is Giuseppe and together we covered football.